All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Bearded Brad. Appreciate you jumping in today. For this video, we got a pompano catch and cook coming for you. I did not film an intro when we went out fishing, so this is the intro. We went out with the wife and kids this past weekend, met up with Salty and Amber as well, did a little bit of fishing out on the beach. I was able to get a pompano for you all, so we're going to do a catch and cook today. I'm going to go ahead and roll that footage for you all for the day going out fishing. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ding the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. You don't want to miss the stuff we got coming up this fall. Fall pompano run starting. Redfish bite is about to be on fire. So there's a lot of good fishing we got coming up for us. You don't want to miss out on it. So make sure you are subscribed. We're going to go ahead and roll that footage from fishing this past weekend. Hope you all enjoy it. I'll see you all right back in the kitchen. Alright y'all, first setup today, We've got the green and white Salty's Pompano rig, We've got some of the yellow fish gum, fresh dead shrimp, get this first rig out here, trying to find some Pompano today, water looks great, went out yesterday and it was a little rough, caught that red, hoping to find some Pompano. Water's a little bit chilly, which is good though. Pompano should be showing back up. These cooler water temps. Next rig we got is the pink and white Salty's Pompano rig. Again, I got some fresh dead shrimp and some fish gum. Alright, current's ripping pretty good, so I swapped out my 3 ounce weights for some 4 ounce. Hopefully that'll help keep us down a little better. Also was able to get a few sand fleas. So I got two sand fleas on this rig here. Get these sand fleas out here, see if they can help us find some pumps. Water's fairly clean, it's getting cooler, a little wave action. Should be a good day for Pompano. It is like late morning right now. I'm out with the wife and kids, so they don't get out too early when they come with me. We got here about 8.30 this morning, but we still should be able to find something cruising around. Salty just got hit. See if he can find them a Pompano. Big white. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one there. Yeah. Thought he got himself a snack. Is that on the shrimp? Uh, no, just on fish gum. This fish gum. Just on the green fish gum. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. good save, good save. Something got him a little worm. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Comment down below if Salty should eat it. Try it. <laughs> Taste it. Here you go, open up. Pop up. All right, we got a deep little pocket right up here behind Kelton. So I got a whiting rig tied up. Little size four hooks. Just a bead, piece of shrimp. See if we can't find some whiting up in here. Usually if they're in there they'll hit it pretty quick, so I'm gonna wait and see if we get hit. Getting hit already. Could be little ones though. Might be still in my bait. Oh I'm getting a hit over here. Yeah. 
This is on the sand fleas. Hopefully it's still there. Not feeling much now. Might be swimming in with me. Oh yeah, he's still there. Definitely still there. Yeah, he's starting to fight now that I'm getting closer to the beach. I see Salty walking up here. Might be a nice hard head catfish for Mr. Salty. It is a pompano. Let's see if it's a keeper. On Mr. Salty's pompano rigs. Just for you. Told you I was coming. That green and white's doing good for me. Is it? Slimy coming. Slimy. What you think? 14 and a half. You gonna put them in the cooler? Alright y'all, so for this video, we're gonna be making a blackened pompano with a little bit of chicken fettuccine noodles. If you have not checked out these noodles, they got these pasta sides as well as they got some rice sides. These things are the bomb. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you do so. We get those at the local Publix here, uh, but I'm sure they carry them at Walmart, Kroger, or whatever grocery store you got, I'm sure they have them. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. For the seasoning, I was just back up in Nashville about two weeks ago, picked up some Nashville hot chicken seasoning. You can use whatever blackened seasoning you want. We've used this a handful of times now, it is awesome. This is gonna be the first time using it on fish. However, I think it's gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the water boiling for the noodles, get the fish seasoned up. And we're gonna get ready for cooking. All right, we're gonna start off by doing a generous amount of our seasoning on the fish here. When you're blackening fish or chicken or anything, do not be afraid to go heavy on the seasoning. You will not regret it. Already got some butter in the pan. We're gonna put it on some medium high heat there. Got a little bit of water and some butter here for the noodles. We're gonna bring it up to a boil. While we're waiting on the pan to get hot and the water to boil, make sure y'all drop a comment down below. Let me know your favorite recipe for pompano. I'd love to try out some other recipes, see what all see what all y'all like to do. Here at our house, we do a lot of blackened fish. We will grill it or bake it every now and then uh, with pompano. I've really been wanting to do the ceviche. We have not done that yet. Hopefully this fall we'll try it. But I will be trying that soon, so make sure y'all stick around for a video coming up in the near future doing that. If you've ever tried ceviche and you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. All right, y'all, water's coming up to a bowl. Pan's getting hot. We're gonna go ahead and grab our pasta side. Got the bowl in water. Get that down in there. Got a hot pan of butter. Get over here and grab our fish. Always start with skin down first. Let that cook for a minute, skin down. After it cooks for a minute like that, you can flip it over. Usually that skin will peel right off the top. That way you don't have to try to deal with skin in the pompano. The skin is super thin, so it's kind of a pain to do that. But like I said, once you cook it skin down for a minute, the skin will peel right off the top. We got the boiling water over here with the pasta on it. We about to be eating good tonight. I'll see y'all back in just a second. All right, pompano is about ready to flip. Again, we started to skin down. Once you flip it, 
and you usually grab that end of the skin right there and it will peel right off just like that a lot easier than trying to, to skin it while you got the fillet out that skin is thin so it's kind of a pain but so much easier that way so got the noodles going over there I'm going to go ahead and put a little more seasoning on this side of the fish cook it down this way for a minute flip it back over on the back and it'll be ready to go just got our fish flipped over there that's the front side looking freaking good I'm going to let this go for just another minute on that back side this is going to be done perfect still got another minute or so on the noodles but I wish y'all could smell that holy crap if you have not been to Nashville had some Nashville hot chicken you got to go to Outlander's Chicken in Nolensville holy crap they got some great chicken I'm excited to try that seasoning on the fish it looks like it's blackening up pretty good so I think it's going to be just fine again it is the first time using it on some fish We're gonna go ahead and pull this here. Ooh, looking mighty fine. Set that over on the plate. That is gonna be delicious. Check in these noodles here. Yeah, and still got another minute with these. If I was smart, I would have put those on a few minutes before I did the fish. But, oh well. <coughs> While we're sitting here waiting on the noodles to get done, drop a comment down below. Let me know if there's any fish y'all would like to see a catch and cook with. Whether it be redfish or black drum or whiting. Anything that we can catch out from the beach. That I can go surf fishing or I can hit the canal, the bays, whatever. Just let me know if there's anything in particular y'all would like to see or any particular recipe. I'm down to try whatever, so let me know and I will try to make that happen for you. But we're going to let these noodles cook for another minute. I'll catch y'all in just a second. Alright y'all, dinner is finally done. Y'all check this out. Holy crap, that's some good looking stuff right there. Alright y'all. It's ready. We're gonna go ahead and hop on in, grab a bite of it. Start with these noodles. These noodles are freaking amazing. It's only like a dollar or so per bag. A dollar for a side of pasta or a side of rice. You can't beat that. These things are amazing. And the pompano, again, first time I've used that Nashville hot chicken on a piece of fish. But dude, it smells amazing. If y'all could smell this, holy crap. Mm. That is some good stuff. It does have a little bit of kick to it. So if you don't like spicy, you may not like that Nashville hot chicken too much. However, just about any blackened seasoning has got a little spice to it, so it's not too crazy if you like a little bit of blackened seasoning. But that is a simple way to go out, catch your fish, cook it up at home, have a wonderful meal. And you can do this with any fish, it doesn't have to just be pompano any sort of fish. You can do blackening, you can do this pasta side, quick easy meal. My wife's at work tonight, kids are already asleep, got the rest of the evening to myself. So yeah, it's easy dinner for just myself. Do one little piece of fish, the noodles. I still got the other half of the filet that I'll do probably tomorrow night. May try to do it a different way, might try to bake it or grill it, switch it up a little bit, but hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish eating my dinner here. Make sure you thumbs up it if you did like it. Again, don't forget to drop a comment down below. Let me know a recipe that y'all want me to try or your favorite recipe to cook pompano. If you're not already subscribed, again, make sure you're subscribed. And until next time, y'all take care.